Welcome to Go Get It. Today we are going to discuss one of the important algorithm that is heap sort. Before we proceed further, I would strongly suggest to go through the video session based on heap tree, as this heap sort algorithm is completely based on heap tree construction. So to understand heap sort properly, we will directly jump into one of the example. So we have been given with the following array, which has certain elements. We need to sort this array with the help of heap sort. So there are certain steps which needs to be followed in heap sort. So the very first step being, we have to construct the heap tree. So heap tree construction follows two properties. One is ordering property and another is CBT. CBT is nothing but complete binary tree. Step two, delete root node and replace it with the last leaf node of the tree. We'll shortly see how uh, what this statement means. Anyway, we will delete the root node in every step with the last leaf of the tree. The tree which is constructed in step one. Then comes step three. Adjust the CBT that is con complete binary tree so that it satisfies heap property. So we are dealing with here CBT only and the we, are, we will be following the heap tree property that is uh, maybe max heap or mean heap anything. And then final step is we will be continuing step 2 and 3. This is how the algorithm works. Now let's see the problem. We have given the following array. We have to sort this. So as uh, we saw the first step is we have to construct the heap tree. So first of all we will construct the CBT. So 15 being first element. So as CBT uh, starts from left to right 25, 13 then we get 12 26 9 16 and 30 so now this is the uh, complete cbt now we have to uh, construct the heap tree so you can see here 30 is at the last we will follow the max heap property here 25 12 and then 30 so we will replace here with 30 and 12 will be replaced here we have 26 here again you can see here we can replace 16 with 13 9 being at the same position 13 again 30 can move up so 15 then 30 25 26 12 and here you can see 16 with no change then finally we have uh, sorry we will get 30 here 15 25 26 12 and the on the right hand side no change as it is already satisfying the heap property then we'll replace 30 is at its max position. We'll place 26 here. 25 will be here. 15 here. 12 here and no change in the right subtree. So I suppose this has constructed the max hip tree. We have 30, 26, 16, then 25, 15. 9 13 and 12 so this is what we have got the heap tree now we will follow the final i mean the second uh, the most important step we'll reconstruct the tree here we have 30 at the top and then we have 26 we have uh, 16 9 13 we have 25 here 15 here and 12 here i hope it is the correct one yes this is the correct one now uh, the step 3 uh, or the step 2 says delete the last leaf node i mean delete the root node with the last leaf node so this is the last leaf node and this is the root node so we'll delete root node with 12 so what we will get this complete structure will be like 
12 will be moved up and 26 and the remaining tree will remain same 25 15 we have 16 here 9 here and 13 here so what is happening we have deleted the root node that is the 30 with 12 and this deleted root node 30 will move to the array or the new array whatever we are getting this is the first element of the uh, sorted array now 12 now uh, we will again run the step here i mean uh, the adjustment of cbt following the heap tree property so 12 is here we will uh, reconstruct the tree again we get 26 12 will be here then 16 25 15 and 9 and here 13 again we have to follow the same uh, we can you can notice here that 25 is at the wrong position so we'll again adjust 26 25 12 and 15 and the same thing here 16 9 and 13 so this is following the max heap property now what again we will do the last leaf node last leaf node being 13 will replace 26 so we will delete 26 the 26 being the root node will delete the 26 element here from here and we'll push it here in the array constructed array and 13 will be moved here so this will be like this so we are getting 13 at the root 25 16 12 15 and 9 so 13 has been moved upward so again follow the same property here so what we will do we will move 25 13 will move down we have 16 and uh, 25 13 has gone down so we have 12 here we have 15 here and 9 now again we have to follow the same property here 25 now you can see here that 15 is at the last position and it is greater than 13 so 15 should move up 12 and 13 will move down and remaining will remain same so again we are following the cbt property following the maxi property we have as as uh, i mean uh, till now we have sorted two elements now again we will delete the root node that is 25 with 9 so you can see here 25 has come and 9 will move up 9 12 13 and 16 so again uh, run through the same algorithm heap tree property so we can see here we can six, move 16 here and uh, 15 will go remain as it is 9 here 12 13 again the same property we have to uh, we will just do a while condition here that until all the elements are sorted we will just repeat the steps of deletion with the leaf node so again we have here leaf node being 13 last leaf node of the tree we will always consider this so 13 will delete 16 so 13 will move here so this will be like this and the next element in the sorted array will be 16 and we have a tree 13 15 9 and 12 so again we will uh, follow the same uh, let's move to the next uh, wait just a second uh -huh. so we had here uh, 13 15 9 and 12 so again uh, so till now we have this uh, heap tree, uh, I mean the sorted array as 30, 26, 25, 16. 
now again we will replace 13 being the after this we will push it to here so this will be like this way and then we have 12 here 15 and 9 apply the heap tree property we have 15 12 and 9 here last leaf 9 we will replace 15 with 9 so we have next element as uh, there has been a mistake here okay uh, we have done wrong something so whatever tree we have constructed is uh, I guess this was the tree we constructed 9 15 and 16 we had 12 13 the sorted array is still 16 only we have to sub, uh, support the heap tree here so 16 will move up 15 will move here 9 will move here and 12 13 will remain as it is so it is following the heap tree property again 13 will replace 16 here so 16 will be moved here so this we have achieved so 13 we have 15 9 12 so this is how we got the tree 13 15 and 9 and 12 that's how we got right okay now after this okay again apply the heap tree property here we will get 15 13 9 and 12 so 15 will be replaced and it will be replaced with 12 so next element will be 15 in the sorted array so we have uh, 12 13 and 9 apply the heap tree property here 13 12 and 9 9 will replace 13 so after 15 we have 13 so it will be like look like 9 and 12 apply the heap tree property 12 and 9 12 will be moved so after this element we have 12 and 9 so we are remaining with the last element of the uh, array and the last element being 9 so i hope you have understood completely the construction of heap tree and the heap sort algorithm so that's how we achieve the last i mean the sorting uh, um, approach here we got 30 26 25 16 15 then 13 and then 12 and finally 9 you can see we have come to a sorted array here so this is how heap, heap sort algorithm works so the all the steps takes some time i mean if you see complexity wise every step takes some time so step one the step one being the construction of heap tree as you know it takes big o of n log n time so n log n for the so you can say uh, uh, you have step 1 so big O of n log n then step 2 takes so we have to here it takes basically big O of log n times so because it requires log n comparisons between the siblings so whatever comparisons we are making and log n comparisons between the parent and child and log n swappings between the parent and child. swappings are there as we are deleting the root node with the last leaf node so finally we will uh, the in step 2 you can see the total time required is uh, to adjusting in uh, total time in adjusting one node adjust one node is big o of log n plus log n plus log n so it will give you big o of 3 log n which will give you 3 big o of log n 
विच इज इक्विवेलेंट टू बिगो ऑफ लॉग इन सो दैट्स हाउ वी अचीव स्टेप टू एज बिगो ऑफ लॉग इन एंड स्टेप थ्री स्टेप थ्री टेक्ट आई मीन स्टेप टू एंड थ्री आर रिपीटेड एंड टाइम सो स्टेप टू एंड थ्री दिस स्टेप टू एंड थ्री आर रिपीटेड एंड टाइम्स सो द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कंप्लीटिंग स्टेप फोर इज बिगो ऑफ एन लॉग इन सो दैट्स हाउ वी अचीव टोटल टाइम फॉर हीप सॉर्ट is time for step 1 and time for step 4 step 1 plus step 4 and we will get the final answer as o of log n this is the time complexity followed in heap sort i hope i i am achieve i have uh, able to uh, make you understand the heap sort algorithm following the heap tree property subscribe for more videos thanks for listening thank you